today we have another interesting topic it's about the history of theater arts so matutulog, and this is a very interesting lesson topic for today is history of the theatrical forms and their evolution by yours truly if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel you may click the subscribe button after three minutes then continue watching it also like us on facebook and don't forget to follow me on instagram we have another interesting topic for today it's all about the theater arts and its history. Saan nga ba nanggaling ang theater arts at paano ito nagsimula at paano nabuo ang concept ng isang theater arts. So once again, huwag kayong matutulog and this is a very interesting lesson. Theater began from myth, ritual, and ceremony. Early society perceived connections between actions performed by groups of people or leaders to a certain society, and these actions moved from habit to tradition to ritual and to ceremony due to human desire and need for entertainment. Theater means place of seeing, but it is more than the buildings where performance takes place. To produce theater, a playwright writes the script, the director rehearses, the performers, the designer and technical crew produce props to create the scenes and the actors and actresses perform on stage. Then, it will only be a true theater act when the audience witness it. First, we have the Greek theater. Here's the example of Greek theater. European theater began in ancient Greece. It began around 700 BC with festivals honoring their gods. Dionysius, the god of wine and fertility, has religious festival called the Cult of Dionysius to honor him. The theater of ancient Greece consisted of the three types of drama. Number one, we have the tragedy. Number two, comedy. And last number three, satire. Here is the layout of the ancient Greek theater called Theatron. And here are the parts of the Theatron. We have audience, the parodos or the entrance, the altar and orchestra where performers played. We have the skin or the scene house. This is the what we call now the back stage. The next one we have the Roman theater. The Roman theater is similar to the Greek theater, the Theatron. The theater of the ancient Rome started in the 3rd century BC. It had varied and interesting art forms such as festivals, performance of street theater, acrobatics, and the staging of comedies of Plautus, and the highly verbally elaborate tragedies of Seneca. The usual themes for Roman theater plays were chariot races, gladiators, and public execution. The Romans loved a good spectacle. They loved to watch combat and admired blood sports and gladiator competition. Here is the layout of the Roman theater, the Triumvir of Pompeii. The Triumvir of Pompeii was one of the first permanent non-wooden theaters in Rome whose structure was somewhat similar to the Theatron of Athens in Greece. Did you know the Roman theater is the most horrible theater of all time? Why? Because they killed a lot of Christians. 
Okay, paano ito nangyari? First, punta muna tayo sa gladiator fights. Okay, the more blood, the more realistic. Also, in the public execution and killing of Christians. Ayan, naging form ng entertainment para sa mga Roman people yan. Imagine, during that time, millions of Christians were killed inside the theater, especially during the time of Emperor Nero. We have the Medieval Theater. Medieval theater began in 500 CE up to 1400. During the medieval era, theater performances were not allowed throughout Europe. To keep the theater alive, minstrels, though denounced by the church, performed in markets, public places, and festivals. They traveled from one town to another as puppeteers, jugglers, storytellers, most of them, dancers, singers, and other performers in the other theatrical arcs. These minstrels were viewed as dangerous and pagan. That's according to the Catholic Church during the medieval period. Who are these arts or the minstrels or the troubadours? Okay, kung babalikan natin yung mga previous lesson natin about sa troubadour, ito yung mga entertainers during that time of the medieval era. Also, they are also storytellers and performers. Bard and minstrel, naririnig niyo yan sa mga online games, especially the Ragnarok. Okay, if you play a uh, Ragnarok movie, Eternal Love, may ma-encounter kayo na bard. And these bard are the storytellers in that game. But in real life, yes, they are the st also storytellers and also performers in the medieval theater. And during the medieval period, pinagbawalan ang mga theater. So, those theater become or became theaters on wheels. In short, the theater is traveling from one place to another to perform and to entertain. The next one we have the Renaissance Theater. Here's the interior view of the Renaissance Theater. Renaissance Theater arts were characterized by a return of classical Greek Roman arts and culture. During the Middle Ages, mystery plays formed a part of religious festivals in England and other parts of Europe during the Renaissance period. Morality plays and university drama were formed to recreate Athenian tragedy. The famous actor and poet who emerged in this period was William Shakespeare. He was an English poet, playwright, and actor and was regarded as the greatest writer and dramatist in the whole world. Shakespeare was often called England's national poet and the bard of Avon or Avon. His works consist of about 38 plays. Some of these plays were well loved, like Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet, Midsummer Night's Dream, Cleopatra, Julius Caesar, Muchoado, or Machado about nothing. Did you know nagkaroon pa ng movie adaptation ang mga sinulat ni William Shakespeare? Mapapanggitin ko lang yung uh, tatlong kilalang ginawa niya na nagkaroon ng movie. Okay, number one, we have the story of Julius Caesar, then the story of uh, Cleopatra, and we have the famous Romeo and Juliet, that is a uh, tragic uh, play. I remember one line, like me, Romeo, Juliet, Juliet, lay down your hair. Okay, next one. Here is the proscenium during the Renaissance period. 
The proscenium was developed during this period. This is the area of a theater surrounding the stage opening. Arches frame and divide the stage from the audience. Backdrops for every scenery were popularized by the art of painting clothes. After the Renaissance theater comes the classy Baroque theater. The theater of Baroque period is marked by the use of technology in current broadways or commercial plays. The theater crew uses machine for special effects and scene changes which may be changed in a matter of seconds with the use of ropes and pulleys. Baroque technology, ito na yung mga gumagamit ng mga modern equipments like the backdraft. Okay? Ito yung mga backgrounds na bumababa na nanggaling sa itaas. Okay? Ano na yung mga yun? That contains background scenery like mountains, desert, or uh, castle. Okay? Ito yung uh, pampadagdag na aesthetic, especially sa mga stage play or uh, theater play. The use of uh, theatrical uh, technologies in the Baroque period may be seen in Fadel. That is uh, year uh, 2000. Also, we have Farinelli in 1999 and in the different stage production of Orpheus by Claudio Monteverdi. After the Baroque theater, comes the Neoclassical Theater. The Neoclassical period was a movement where the styles of Roman and Greek societies influenced the theater arts. During this period, the theater was characterized by its grandiosity. Costumes and sceneries were highly elaborate. The main concepts of the place were to entertain and to teach lessons transitioning from the baroque theater going to the neoclassical theater may mga add-ons na dito number one we have lighting and number two we have the sound effects this intensified the mood and the message of each scene enhancing dramatic experience this period officially established just two types of play. What are those? Tragedy and comedy. Tragedy portrayed the complex and faithful lives of the upper classes and the royals. While the comedy tended to focus on the lower ranks of the society. The last one, we have the romantic theater. Romantic theater from 1800 up to year 2000. During the Romantic period, melodrama and the operas became the most popular theatrical forms. Melodramas originated from the French word melodrama, which is derived from Greek melos, which means music, and French drame or drame, which is derived from the Greek dran to perform. Melodrama, a dramatic work that puts character in a lot of danger in order to appeal to the emotions and in which orchestral music or song was used to accompany the action. While the opera is an art form in which singers and musicians perform a dramatic work combining text, libretto, and musical score acting scenery costumes and dance were important elements of the theater last one we have the romantic theater romantic theater started from 1800 up to the year 2000 ito yung tinatawag natin na modern theater okay kung uh, nabutan nyo yung mga stage play especially in UP Diliman lalo na yung stage play na Ivo Adarna, Dorante at Laura, we have No Limitang Eric by Dr. Jose Rizal and El Pili 
Agustus ni Rizmonat was also written by Dr. Serizal. Okay? Most of the, that play is in the form of sarsuela. But the term sarsuela, we will discuss that in the next vlog. Natin. Are you still alive and kicking? Let's go now to the romantic playwrights and composers. First, we have Victor Marie Hugo, or known as Victor Hugo, is considered as one of the greatest and best-known French writer. He was a poet, novelist, and dramatist of the Romantic movement. Among his works that stand out all over the world are Lay Contemplations, La Legende, Des Cieles, Les Miserables, and the Notre Dame de Paris, which is known as the Hunchback of Notre Dame or Hunch of Notre Dame. There were several playwrights that had been known in this period, such as Charles Nodier, George Sand, Heinrich von Kleis, Ludwig Oland, and many more. Dalawang sumikat na gawa ni Victor Hugo ay ang The Hunchback of Notre Dame and Les Miserables. Hindi ah, Les Miserables ah, it's Les Miserables. Nagkaroon ito ng uh, movie adaptation. And also, The Hunchback of uh, Notre Dame na inadapt ng Walt Disney. But the original story of The Hunchback of Notre Dame is a tragic story. Okay? Just uh, search it kung malaman ninyo. We have George Bizet. Ayan, kilala nyo to sa music. George Bizet a French composer and pianist best known for his operas. Carmen is the most popular among his works. Bizet composed the title role for a mezzo-soprano in the character of Carmen. The opera tells the story of the downfall of Don Jose, a naive soldier who is seduced by the charms of the sizzling gypsy Carmen. His contemporary composers during the Romantic period were Franz Liszt, Richard Wagner, Frederick Chopin, Ludwig van Beethoven, Franz Schubert, Felix Mendelssohn, and Hector Berlitz. Now, let's recall the following regarding our lessons. First, we have the Greek theater started during 700 BC, followed by the Roman theater started during 3rd century BC. Then comes the medieval theater from 500 CE up to 1400. The playwrights and composers were bards, minstrels, troubadours, Let's also include the puppeteers, the gypsies, and the jugglers. Then comes the Renaissance theater from 1400 up to 1600. The famous playwrights were William Shakespeare and Christopher Marlowe. Marami pa ang mga playwrights dito sa Renaissance theater. Dalawa lang yung nilagay ko kasi... Uh, Pag dinagdagan ko pa yan, masahabang lesson. Okay, let's go back. Next is the Baroque Theater started during 1600 up to 1750. Then comes the Neoclassical Theater from 1800 up to 1900. Then followed by the Roman Theater from 1800 up to year 2000. The famous composers and playwrights were Victor Hugo, Charles Norier, Heinrich von Kleis, George Bisset, and Ludwig Holland. 
And here are the references. May babanggitin ako na stage play na pasok pa rin sa romantic theater. Let us remember, romantic theater started from 1800 up to year 2000. But beyond year 2000, may romantic theater still uh, exist. Ito yung mga sumikat noon. We have the novels of Dr. Cerisal. We have the Florante at Laura. We have also the Ibong Adarna. Okay? At ito yung mga ibang naging sikat din. We have the King and I and the Miss Saigon. Yan. Also, nagkaroon din ng uh, adaptation or romantic uh, theater team na movie. Okay? Isa na doon yung The Phantom of Opera. We have High School Musical. And the latest is The Greatest Showman. I hope you learned something or I hope you learned a lot in our uh, video lesson. If you learned something in our uh, lesson or video lesson for today, you may comment down below. Thank you so much for your uh, continued support and please uh, keep updated on my uh, incoming vlogs. Thank you so much and may God bless us all. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and bell for notifications. And also, like us on Facebook, The Hobbyist Artist. Thanks for watching!